All right, guys, back with another pickups video. I uh, went out today, went to some uh, thrift stores, uh, one or two yard sales, and Goodwill, and then another two little thrift stores in another town over. So I got a few pickups that's kind of a mixed sort of lot. I also went to the free flea market, by the way. First, we have two controllers for the PS2 and PS3. They're complete, they're in the box, they're sealed, never been opened. Got two of those, which was pretty cool. And for those two, I paid ten bucks, which wasn't a bad deal. I mean, they're sealed, brand new controllers. So, and then, see, this here was a Goodwill find. It's the only game related item I found, but it's a pretty nice one. Halo 2 limited edition, collector's edition, which is cool. And it did have the manual and. Everything's in there, even this. And this uh, one, which is the game. And then bonus features. And they're in pretty nice sh condition. Then we stopped at a. Yeah, this one was a thrift store pickup. Which I already have once a little bit for trade or for sale. Game Boy Color. I think this is the Glacier Purple, Atomic Purple. I've already got one over there, and this one's might be re might be replacing mine. Probably will, because the screen's in really nice condition on this one. And it did come with some games. And I haven't tested them yet, so I don't even know if they work. Uh, Cubics, Robots for Everyone. Then we got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. X-Men Mutant Academy. Imagination, I think that's right. Monster Rancher Explorer. And another cup. I got like three copies of this one now. Looks like Katie Lynn owned this one. The Legend of Zelda Oracles of Ages. This is, this is the third copy. You can kind of see where she's written her name here on the sides. Then we had a pickup at the flea market, which was local right here in town. It was pretty cool. Mario Party Advance. And it has, it's not complete, but it does have uh, the manual and various advertisements for it. And it did have the game. Which was in one of these little protective cases, so that's cool. And that was it for the flea market. It was a dry day out there, guys. There wasn't really much to find, and I've been in quite a few places. And then this one here was a good little lot, and I didn't tell you prices on that. For the uh, for this, it was a dollar. For the Game Boy Color lot, it was three, and for this was five, which I was good with that. Five bucks, not too bad. Then I got a Xbox 360 Slim or Model 2 and it has the hookups. Here's the rest of the hookups, power supply, all that stuff. And it had a wireless controller. This is the one for the batteries. Yeah, it didn't have the charging brick. It come with one game, um, Splatterhouse. I played this back on Sega. That was pretty fun. It is complete. Let's check the disc right quick. Pretty minty. That was good to find. Because Splatterhouse is a, a series that spanned a couple of different consoles, so that's pretty cool to find. And we have the system itself. It does work. I tested it. This uh, door here is broken on it. It did come with a 250 gig hard drive, but it is missing this piece here, the plastic piece, and all the hookups. And that right there was 10 bucks for that. And I can flip these for, you know, I don't know, what you, they trade in at GameStop right now for about 50 bucks. So it'd be a nice 
trading on something else you wanted. But I could get for this package, I'll probably end up asking about 60 bucks and get that. It'll be good with it. Just flip it because I don't really collect much for Xbox 360. So that's it for the video. I want to thank everybody that watches. Love you guys. Keep watching. And I got a couple more pickups maybe next weekend. So there will definitely be another video following this one up. So uh, thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.